just reading these words is extremely powerful because first of all, everybody's sitting together. It doesn't matter what our background is and like Asaf perfectly described, it doesn't really matter what we think and feel. Everything about us is potent and powerful and beneficial. Our mind, our intelligence is vast and beneficial. And to, to ignore that, that would be completely sad and, and just also not acceptable. You want to tap into, and that's really what the introduction to open intelligence is, you tap into your potent power to be of benefit to all. And then reading these words, like you ask people, well, what do you want? And if you really ask yourself, and I asked myself, that's really what I want. I wanted to be of benefit to all, but I just didn't know. And it was great to hear these questions you had, like, well, how is world peace possible? Like you hear that wor word and then it's like, no way, how with, this, with the world, how it is. And being introduced to something about us that is so potent and powerful and then reading this, these, these words and then the title, Immediate Action, A Call to Peace, knowing that that's possible as a human being coming together, sitting down together, asking, well, what do you want and what unites us? And what are we capable as a human being? And that we can, we, 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 we as human beings, we can exemplify that, just like that in a short moment, rather than going with all these crazy ideas and thoughts that's simply by emphasizing data. So getting that straight, that choice, emphasizing data, all our thoughts and emotions, where did that lead us so far? And then that choice where we recognize our potent power. And that's in the midst of anything that is coming up, anything, any thought you have. And that is, I mean, for me, that was just like, wow, that's, that's the key the inseparability from whatever is occurring in me now so I don't have to fix myself or have to fight that fight myself to be peaceful. Like fighting, you can see just this week, fighting for peace, it, it's just impossible. It just doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> just to think about it. But you look in your own Look in your own experience, fighting in yourself to be peaceful with all your thoughts and emotions. It, 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 it'll never pan out. It doesn't work. And so recognizing the power and beneficial potency that is present no matter what is going on, like relax for a moment, stop thinking, boom, Boom, that's, that's in the text. <laughs> and then there's alert, intelligence, open, powerful, and peaceful. Lots of peace right there. <laughs> and um, powerful, peaceful, potent, and, 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 and inseparable from anything you're thinking and feeling. So what stops is, is looking for a better state, looking for better thoughts and emotions, fighting against what's going on, and dividing into good and bad, dividing into good and bad, wrong and right, seeing that in ourselves and seeing how, how you recognize that, that st stopping all this dividing into good and bad and, and, and fighting against this and the other and that. And seeing that in yourself makes really clear how that is possible for the world. It makes clear how that just does never lead to peace. For, for me, that it, it, it empowers a total commitment to open intelligence. It just empowers a complete commitment to not go there anymore in myself. And that's why you can see how a short moment of open intelligence shows how, what is possible in the world. Like, but don't think about that. Like, just in your own experience, that power to have a short moment of open intelligence and see that, there's, that, that the fight is ended and the struggle is over within yourself, you can see what is possible for the world. And to, 
And then you, you read text like this, everybody wants to be of benefit. We just didn't, we just didn't know how. And we just don't know how. And now with open intelligence, it's very clear how we can be of benefit to all, how, how the, all the self-focus comes to a complete stop. <laughs> that energy and that time is, it's not needed anymore. And you see how, I mean, I feel completely, there's just nothing needed. I don't look for anything anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what I think and feel in every moment. There's a complete satisfaction and openness in, and, and the thoughts and emotions, they just flow on by and then there's really time to be of benefit to all. Then there's time and energy that doesn't go into looking at all your thoughts and emotions and trying to rearrange and, and fight against what is, what is coming up. And that makes, it makes sense. It, it makes sense to rely on open intelligence. And the Four Mainstays empower exactly that. So it's, it's a lifestyle, it doesn't exclude anything. Yet what is really clear is, like when you want to be of benefit to all, you want to, well, wanting to be of benefit to all and being of benefit to all, relying on open intelligence, it, it makes sense to, to work together with people who are relying on open intelligence and not relying on data streams, right? Because relying on data streams, it, it's messy, it's like unpredictable. And, and because in one moment you love someone, in the next moment you might hate someone, the same person, or you have positive thoughts about something and then the next moment you have negative thoughts. It's, it's like that, right? And to, to rely on data streams, it means it's just being all over the place. It's going from one to the next. And being at the whim of that, you can put a total end to that by relying on open intelligence and the Four Mainstays empower that completely. So when we, when we read the title of today, I was completely excited to, to receive that kind of text with that title. Immediate action, a call to peace. Because the news of the last weeks, they just, they bring up everything. They bring up sadness, they bring up anger, right? They bring just up everything hopelessness, like how can we, what can we do? And like see, recognizing we can start in ourselves, relying on open intelligence and saying, well, I'm not participating anymore in that, in that fight against each other, against myself, against the data streams and put it to a complete stop. And that, that's how, for me, my commitment grows, because I, I just see that doesn't work anymore. It just doesn't work to rely on my ever-changing data. It, 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 it just doesn't work, really. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. and, um, and you, see, and you, you recognize that in your own experience. And you make it like a scientist. You take a day and look exactly what it means to rely on data streams. What does that mean? And then you make another test. You say, okay, I rely on open intelligence, inseparable from whatever I think and feel and all my data, no matter what the data streams are. And then you, you see the results. And you see these, t these are the two choices and you can test both choices. Mm -hmm in a really scientific way, and then you report the results. <laughs> and then it's um, probably we, we already know now what that means. Probably you can't really do one day of relying on data <laughs> if, you, if you really try hard to just rely on data a whole day. That can be quite exhausting. So immediate action, a call to peace. And well, again, like just in the face of the news and, and we're talking about that this week, but really, I mean, it's going on all the time, all over the world, but it was really quite, quite in our face this, this week. 
this last um, weeks with in, in the Middle East, and it, it was it's just when it brings up everything that's the fuel, the power to be of benefit because you can't really continue on your life and think. Well, that's what happens when you rely on data, you, that powerlessness and not knowing what to do, then we just ch cut off from all our emotions, right? And we can't really take it, what's going on, because we don't see the solution, and that's just how. And I describe my experience. But I can see a total shift now in my experience in, in hearing that week the news. I was totally empowered and felt we need a solution, and the solution is so clear. We see it in our communities, people relying on open intelligence and how we can be with each other, how we use our speech and how we use our mind, our intelligence, how we use our activities, our, our qualities for the benefit of all. Everything is infused with the benefit of all. And there's no wavering, that's the, the total 100% commitment. And when it's possible for myself, then it's possible for everyone. Like, everybody is a human being, entirely beneficial. Beneficial mind, open mind, mm -hmm. crystal clear intelligence, and entirely beneficial. And then to say, okay, well, that's what I commit to. That's why it's so easy to commit, because you're committing to the benefit of all. Mm -hmm. And not, you're not committing to data. And for me, that's why I'm so, it's so responsive, this training. This training is, is completely responsive in seeing what's happening now and, and what can we do now. And seeing that it's not a hopeless situation, that's what shifted for me, that it's not hopeless. Because I can see what is, in, what is possible in myself and possible in a community like this. Mm -hmm. Or when you go to a center in Sweden or in Goa, you can see what is possible. Or just in a community all over the world. <laughs>